Okay, hello uh, Gearspace. Um, yeah, this is Instro, we're at Superbooth 2023 and uh, I'll give a, a brief rundown of one of the new modules that we launched last week. So uh, this is the ARA, which is a 6 HP transistor ladder filter with built-in VCA, envelope follower, gate follower. It's a, yeah, it's a, a fun one where I've tried to bridge between East Coast, West Coast, so we can use it as a more traditional uh, subtractive synthesis signal flow. I'll get some sounds going, I'll patch a sawtooth through it. There we go. Okay, so this is essentially a successor of the first filter that I released as Instro um, back in 20, must have been 2016 or so. Um, same topology in terms of circuitry for the transistor ladder. I went discrete with this as opposed to ICs. Uh, there's a built-in VCA uh, and a, the capability to define whether the VCA is pre or post filter. So if it's trying to post, you've got that traditional uh, oscillator into filter into VCA subtractive signal flow. Uh, I kind of designed it with pre as a more default because it gives the ability to take a signal and overdrive it a little bit more into uh, Yeah, overdrive a little bit more into the transistor stages. Uh, I'll bring this up so that I've got more of a super saw type voice. So for voltage control, uh, there's a one volt per octave input jack, uh, so that's kind of more more key towards uh, key tracking. Um, so if you want this to, to follow a more constant structure of filter cutoff salt versus carrier frequency, um, it will self oscillate if you kick the resonance all the way up. So it will it will give uh, give some vocal of tracking over sine wave. The main CV input here uh, goes straight into an attenuverter at the top, and this can be routed to VCA filter cutoff, both filter cutoff and VCA. So that gives you the ability to you know, change the depth. You could be modulating uh, loudness from the VCA post filter for more more static filter shapes, uh, for instance, or both. And um, if you're going with both, then you can always add a degree of bias to the to the VCA, especially if it's set pre, then it's going to saturate and drive into the, into the filter a little bit more. Um, if we ignore any CV here, there's this option as well, where I can mute CV, bring the bias of the VCA all the way down, bring the filter cutoff all the way down. Then all I need to do is strike this button or send it some sort of clock or trigger. So this is essentially my introduction of some form of low-pass gate mechanic into, into the instrument range. So it's an analog decay envelope that has a variable duration uh, and it's fixed amplitude that goes to both the filter cutoff and, and bias. So here I can use you know, define resonance. Quite static at the moment, uh, but a further trick is the, uh, the CV input via attenuverter. As I showed, it could be VCA, filter, or both. It can also further be mapped to the resonance and the decay time. Uh, so these are secondary parameters. So there's up to the four parameters that the CV can be mapped to at any one time. So let me check where this is. Routes. There we go. So this blinking yellow while I hold the button, that's indicating I now have CV mapped to the decay time. So I'll pull a patch cable from my clocked sample and hold here. So I've now got a degree of you know, dynamic variation over the, the decay time, so it's adding a bit more, you know, more musical accenting to it. So uh, if we want to get this a bit more musical,
So this is now a random step going through a quantizer, quantized to a minor seventh arpeggio. That's controlled my vocal octave. I have secondary random steps going to CB over my decay time to add a little bit of articulation between notes. So I add a bit more complexity to my clock. Very nice and quick to get something very uh, dynamic and uh, a lot more musical than just a standard thing to low pass gate. Welcome, thanks.